Hello, my name is Dusty, and I'm going to show you today how to set up an FTP site and to also set up the check in and check out feature. So, what you're going to do here first is scroll over to the right side of your Dreamweaver. You're going to click on this drop down underneath the File tab, select Manage Sites. So, you're going to create a brand new site. So, click the New button, select Site. This is really easy to set up, so let's do it under the advanced tab. So first thing you want to do is give the site a name. Then you have to designate a local root folder. Now the local root folder is where all of the local copies on your computer of the FTP site are going to download to. So if you download off this FTP site, all those files are going to end up in the folder you specify here. So I'm just going to create a folder called testing all right then you have to set up the remote info so click on that and for access you want to select FTP under FTP host you have to type in the FTP address of the site then you have to provide your login and password for the FTP site You're going to click this, act, this Use Passive FTP checkbox. And then click Test to make sure all of your credentials are accurate. Looks like mine are good. And then lastly, you want to go down here to enable the Check In and Check Out feature. You just click this box, provide a checkout name, and the email address. And then you're going to click OK. Now, check in and check out. What it does basically is it makes it so only one person can have a file and modify it at a time. And this prevents you know, a team of people working on one site from overwriting each other's changes and basically losing work. So setting this up allows you guys to not lose work <laughs> while you're uh, working within the same file structure. So if I check out a file, nobody else can edit it until I check it back in. So this is a nice feature to have enabled, but everybody who's working within the files has to have check in and check out enabled in Dreamweaver in order for it to work. All right, so I click OK, and everything should be set up. You see it here in the list now. Click Done. And then my site's all set up here. 